Well, we're right now in Wolf Country. We are trying to stick together, but actually we've lost uh, part of the team. They went just two ahead and... It's not looking good. Some screaming, now there's only silence. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess in a way you could say they had it coming. So, yeah, uh, definitely. So now the, the strategy is just waiting here. And survive and let, stick together. Let the wolves get a little bit, you know, fed. And then we can safely keep on going. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to Coffee Chat from Knit Nat Narrows. My guest this morning is uh, lead guide Tom, and uh, today's subject we're going to talk about uh, not leaving a trace when you're. Well, what we're talking about is how to poo in the woods, uh, in the wilderness when you happen to be in a location where they don't have uh, facilities, as they've had, Tom. Really, at most locations along the trail here, we've had That's good correct. facilities. We've got the Phoenix composting toilets, and uh, but you get to the odd situation as we found ourselves in last night, where you don't have that kind of facility, and the question becomes, what do I do? I gotta poo. And see, these guys have been doing this the whole trip. They've been calling Parks Canada to have me taken off the trip. And you know what? After it's day six, and a bunch of them are starting to look at me weird. Anyway, um, I don't trust, I don't trust any of them. First of all, we start, we need a, uh, a board, you right? Need, you need some supplies. You need to be prepared. So uh, we talked about this last night around the campfire after eating dinner. Um, you need a, you need a lighter. You need your toilet paper. Mm -hmm. You don't need much. You need your toilet paper, and then you need a, a platform, a piece of driftwood, nice and flat, with the appropriate surface area, given your uh, intake, your your caloric intake over the previous few days. So that's a personal calculation that you need to make. So you, you head out there with your supplies. You find yourself a nice flat area. You do your business on the on the board on the board, make making sure not to turn your back to the ocean because that's important. If you, right, turn, yeah. if you turn your back to the ocean, uh, you know you, it could be disastrous. Really, it could be disastrous. So you're done. You're clean, right? Everything's clean. Yeah. This is going on your on your business on the on the. Can you board. do this with a friend? Can you go in pairs? Well, safety in numbers. Okay. Your lighter that you brought with you. Yeah. 
So you're gonna light that on fire because we don't want the paper will burn. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then you have some creative, uh, creative options here. Okay. To dispose of it into the into the ocean. It's on the poo on the board, burning down, smoldering. You can send that out into the a ocean. Sip of coffee. Yeah, take a sip of coffee. Get things moving here. At this point, we better have a sip of coffee and kind of re regroup okay. before we talk about what comes next. This is the exciting. This is where part. it gets really weird. This is the fun part. So you're, yeah, you've got your business on a on a piece of driftwood. Your your paper's on top. It's smoldering away. Uh, my favorite is what we call the Viking funeral. So you're gonna send that out into the ocean, launch it to sea, like a like a like a burning what if Viking. What tide's king. coming in though, and it keeps coming back at you? Well, you might need to talk to Miguel Do about that. You have that. to tide your. This, <laughs> you might you have need to tie it. To, you have time all this around the tides. I'm thinking. You do. You might need. Yeah, you need a. You need an ebbing tide. Ebbing. Yeah, yeah. You need an ebbing tide. <laughs> Just the one sea state's got to be correct. So, so then, before you can even do this, you need tide tables, and then you need to know how to read tide tables. Yeah. Okay, and then hope that you're gastrointestinal tract is lined up with the tide tables Frank, okay so assuming you've got assuming the tide is going out which yeah. is what you want you yeah. send that thing off to japan yeah. um well now what's happening overseas where all this stuff is arriving all these boards of poo are arriving with burned toilet paper what are the people in other countries thinking are they governments governments talking about this or uh that's a great question i, I haven't stopped to figure that out well, good morning, friends, and hello from Knit Nat Narrows. My name is Danny Hooper. I'm your host this morning on a Coffee Chat from Knit Nat Narrows. And my special guest today uh, joins us all the way from France. And my guest is Claude. Claude, how are you doing? Uh, fine, fine. Je vais très bien. All right, and that's been today's show. <laughs> Thank our special guest, Claude, from France.